Right, apparently I didn't video. I thought I did a video. It was only about five minutes of this church. I'm hoping my other videos have turned up. I hope they have. This St. Michael's Gorda um, in Gordano. It's pretty much right on top of a hill overlooking a valley. Um, I'm not doing a great deal of um, videoing because I must be very close to finishing but I've just got this feeling that not everything I've done might have videoed unfortunately it is a bit spooky I was just saying it's a bit spooky this um, churchyard because it's so isolated I think and um, so dark as well I'm more or less repeating because I did all this a minute ago and I was just saying that there's the Reverend Charles Wood here 19 years rector of this parish who died in 1896 and his wife Anne Wood who died in 1913 age 62 and then here we've got a Colonel R Salisbury Simpson late Bengal army and of the or of the orchard Porter said died at Moffat 1st of June 1888 age 78 a good soldier of Jesus Christ Afghanistan Punjab Burma all's well so that's him next to each other I was about to leave, you see, and then, oh dear, I've just opened this bit up a minute ago, it's um, quite dark in here, so I shan't be doing a lot of it, and it's definitely locked, but I will try it again, because I had that trouble with another one, and it suddenly opened on me, and not this one, St. Michael Clapton in Gordano. So that's that. Looks a nice little church. I suspect it's quite old as well. So I'm just going to go round. I wasn't going to do the back bit, which, which is a bit unloved. Um, it's a long way for people to come up here. Well, the thing is, if you if you cycle, it's all right. I've taken lots of photos, by the way. There's like a little gully that runs all the way round. It's one I'll have to revisit, of course, because if, if I haven't videoed it, if I haven't got inside. There's like a little old building there as well, look. Red brick, red sandstone. See, and that bit there looks very... It's just been plastered, rendered, to preserve it. I mean, you can see underneath that it's lovely brickwork underneath. And that, that only protects it, but it does look better without, doesn't it? But it looks like at one point this was up to here in Mudlet. There's a stain there. Couldn't be due to floods, not up here. Some very old graves here. There's some, a lot of Hardwick graves, I've noticed. A lot of Hardwick graves. Of course, I was up in the overspill of the newer graves a minute ago, and then I started to record, and then I realised I haven't rec I ain't recorded nothing. I mean, something might come out. See, look, look, we've got this gate here, and these lovely steps, see? That people would have got up. Somebody coming up here. Of course, there's a main road very close. I can hear it. Right, now here's the Richard Hardwick. Duncan's got a friend. Yeoman who died 11th October 1782, age 50. Then there's Thomas Hardwick. He died in 1778, age 75, and his wife, Betty. There's more of them in here. Joan. Wife of Thomas Hardwick. She died 1764, age 67. There's an Anthony Harris here, 1775, age 66. 
for some very, very old graves. And these are the plants I had at Abbeville. These nice plants here. There's a very old gravestone there with some sort of inscription on it, but I don't know what it is. Something Warden. Can't read it. More old graves up there. I'll just climb up there a little bit just so that you can see the the view from up there people that I'm talking to there was obviously steps here once look see I've, I've, I've examined all these graves More Hardwick, Samuel Hardwick, 1900, age 77, and Amelia, 1924, age 79. So if anyone's doing a Hardwick tree, there's a lot of them buried here. Edwin Hardwick, 1887, age 66, Augusta Caroline Hardwick, 85 in 1920, and Ernest Edward, 1879, he was small when he died. More Isaac, Isaac Hardwick. 1860, age 79, and Albert James, son of the above. 1880, age 35. They've been here a while. Here's a very old one. Look at this. Look at that. It's got like, um, I don't know if the sign of a mason could be. That is very old. And there's, look how, in, in see modern churchyards, they pull that down. Same with this one up here, look. Grateful Parish Records, the memory of John Gather Cole, scripture reader who earnestly sought to win souls to Christ in this place and neighbourhood. He died on the 28th of May, 1860, age 69. He rests from his labours and his works do follow him. I like to do the odd crave because it is a record, I can't do them all. Not like I would my own. If I went to some borough green, I'd do every one of them. Well, this is just a view of the overflow. Like I say, I can hear a very fast road. That could be a motorway. That could be the M5 up there that's whizzing about. Right then, folks. I'm going to one more churchyard in a minute on the return journey. It certainly is beautiful for doing this sort of work. You can't do this in the summer, see? Um, in the winter when it's snowing and all that. So this is St Michael's in Gordano, not far from Bristol, not far from the busy M5, not far from Clevedon and Portishead. I also found some Rollins graves when I was uh, in the Portishead Cemetery earlier, which I had to fall, just come across. I didn't plan to go there, of course. There's the old yew tree, full of myth. Oh well, I'll have to come back, won't I? Over and out.